Hmm. What well, sounds good after a apple pie recipe? Jeez, man, I don't know. How about hard apple cider? <laughs> And that's right guys, as you know by now, today we're going to go over how to make a hard apple cider. This is my first attempt at it here, I've never done this before, so uh, I'm taking you guys along for the journey. Alright guys, now the first step that I'm going to do is add one quart of cranberry juice to this pot and get it cooking. Alright guys, now that I got that, that going, I'm going to add roughly two pounds of brown sugar to this pot and let it dissolve. Now that I got my sugar in there, it's mostly dissolved, I'm going to add my cinnamon sticks. Um, and in this recipe, I'm, I'm just going off of my taste here. I like cinnamon quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and throw 12 cinnamon sticks in the pot. Um, to my boiling pot, I am going to add about two, oh, let's say three teaspoons of vanilla extract. And that will kind of give it a vanilla, nice creamy flavor, I'm hoping. I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, let all those flavors that we just added to this pot infuse with each other. And while we're waiting, the next step is to, to sanitize our fermentation vessel. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's just star sand. Um, it's fairly cheap to use. You mix it with water and it's just a standard sanitizer most beer and winemakers uh, use this on the regular and it takes like half an ounce per five gallons or one ounce per five gallons I think it says yeah one ounce per five gallons now I only have just a little bit of water in the bottom of this here so I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this to it and that's plenty spilled the shit everywhere man that's and I'm not even going to add that up. Alright, now I'm going to take this and just shake it up. Alright, now she's real foamed up and they say don't fear the foam on this stuff guys and uh, we just pour everything right on top of the foam. In this bowl I have my airlock and my stopper. I'm going to just dump this right into here. And there we go. We'll let that sit and sanitize. Alright guys, our pot's almost done and while we're waiting for that to finish up, I'm going to go ahead and add this into our sanitation thing and just kind of roll it around here. Just maybe kill off anything that might be on that stainless steel funnel. Give this another quick stir here, it's simmering real nice. Okay, so I, I think we're, we're getting pretty close here, maybe a few more minutes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now and uh, we'll uh, start adding stuff to our fermentation vessel. Alright, well, while we're waiting for that to complete, what I'm going to do is add my apple juice to my container. Now, the recipe that I uh, came up with is one gallon apple juice, two gallons of apple cider, um, and about a half of a half gallon, so one quart of cranberry juice and two pounds of brown sugar. And we're gonna see where that leaves us. Um, and of course, you know, you got 12 cinnamon sticks in there and your vanilla extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this into our fermenter now. Alright, 
this is smelling terrific guys. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. It looks done. We look real good. And I am gonna attempt to pour this in this four four ounce this four inch funnel here and we'll see where how we how we do. got all of our sugar added here. I'm going to let this cool down good um, and then we're going to pitch our yeast. Now that our uh, cider is cooled off, we are going to take our starting gravity reading. And what this will tell us is how much sugar we have for our yeast to ferment um, and our potential alcohol content. Um, and this is a hydrometer. If you guys want to know a little more about this, check out my video, uh, it would be this corner, uh, which is uh, tips for the new distiller. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and let this float in here, she just barely floats. So we're at 1.070, um, and if you kind of turn this here, um, and it will give you roughly I'd say we're at close to 9% alcohol by volume. That's about where I want to be. I don't want anything super strong. Um, that will give us a good chance, a good shot here uh, of having a fairly dry product without a real high alcohol content. I'm not a, a fan of something that has 15-16% alcohol in it. I'm just not. Some people are and that's fine. That's just not my jam. So what we're going to do now is set this to the side and open our yeast. Um, the yeast we're using today is Lablin's EC1118. It's a champagne yeast. It should ferment this down right to dry. There should be nothing left um, it's a great yeast. I have nothing but good things to say about this stuff. I've used it quite a bit in other things. So we're going to go ahead and cut this open and pitch it dry. All right. Now I'm just going to let that do its thing. It'll hydrate in there and, and get started. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and put together our airlock and our stopper here. All right guys, and then we just let this thing do its thing. We're gonna let it sit for about, I would say a week, 10 days, and we'll come back to it and uh, take a gravity reading. And if it's still not done, we'll give it a little longer. This is the best stuff. This is some of that uh, apple pie that I made in the last video, guys. It turned out amazing. It's super clear. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. Um, it tastes amazing. It tastes just like apple pie should. It was a huge hit at the holiday party and no problems, no complaints. Uh, we drank quite a bit of it. So if you guys want to see how I made this, uh, are interested in making some yourself, go ahead and click the link above. If you guys liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see some more content from me, you want to see how this project ends, subscribe. I post about one video a week. Uh, if you uh, have something you want to see from me, you want to see me do, you want to see me do something different. If I did something wrong in this video, please, please, please guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'll get back to you. I promise I will. Have an awesome week guys. As always, stay safe and shine on.